fast. Back at it again. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Um, don't forget, April 4th, yes? In-house tournament, two stripes and above. EastonTC.com. Go sign up. Let's jump into the curriculum, okay? What we're going to look at today, guys, is uh, for the fundamentals, guillotine defense and then uh, fan sweep guillotine combo. So let's look at first guillotine defense, okay? We have to understand something when it comes to the guillotine defense. The guillotine is only dangerous when I am in between the person's legs. That's the only times that I can real. I don't want to say only, there's always exceptions to rules you'll learn as, as, as we go, but for the most part, the guillotine is only dangerous from in between the legs, either on the standing position or the ground position, okay? When I defend it from the standing position, I have to make sure that I'm going to pass it on the ground position. So what am I saying? Professor has me here in a guillotine. Look, I'm in between his legs. The first thing I always need to do is protect myself, wrist and arm. Okay? From this position, I walk towards the arm. So I pass his legs. Bump the knee, set him down, and now we're still in this past leg position. So that when he tries to choke me, it's not happening. Okay? So many times you'll see people be in a guillotine and then keep shooting a double leg. So that when we end up on the ground, now I have problems. So let's remember guys, the guillotine, and the instructors will teach it very well, but we defend our neck, grab the wrist, arm over the back, that relieves pressure, but you have to pass the guard, and then you don't have such a problem. Fancy. So guys, the fan sweep, the key with the fan sweep is going to be the elbow. So many people are gonna get up on their elbow and not all the way to the hand. What am I saying? The movement is I rock to one side and then I'm up. Armpit on the shoulder, all the way up to the hand here. Okay, if we turn this way, Professor. So notice, this is what's gonna allow me to have, along with the feet not being far away, the power to get up and bump him over. You know you have done it correctly. When our heads were pointed that way to start, and they're still pointed that way, just reversed top and bottom. When I do the same thing, but I stop right here on the elbows, okay? This is where we start to get into trouble. Our body's longer, we can't go, he can drive into me, it becomes this whole host of a problem, okay? It's gonna be the same problem with the guillotine, so that when I rock up, I'm on my hand, he starts to drive into me now and lower his head. The first thing I do is wrap and move back. But if I was on my elbow, there'd be no moving back. I would just get driven to the ground. So, there's one tip that I'm gonna give on the fan sweep guillotine combo. Instructors will do a great job with it here. Let me show it one time all the way through so everyone can see it. Okay, first the fan sweep. And now the guillotine, when he drops his head, there's one tip I'm gonna give. It's get all the way up to the hand, make sure you're not on the elbow. Um, we'll be right back. We're gonna do intermediate and no gi today. All right guys, here we are. Uchimata still is the takedown. Uh, if instructors have time, they're going to be adding Uchimata to foot sweep. So, okay, here I am. I'm in the overhook position. I have the wrist. I step in front on my back stepping position, and I'm going to Uchimata, okay? However, he's doing a good job of hopping on his foot. I'm going to lower my level, catch his foot with my foot, and grab. The key, guys, where everyone messes this up is on this motion, we put our foot here, and he can just step out of it. We didn't lower down. You have to lower down so all of his weight is where, Peter? Okay. On that foot. And now the hand just becomes an assist. That escapes. 
The back is so simple. Not easy, but so simple. It always comes down to one thing. Is your head in between his choking arm and his head? If that's the case, you got a problem, okay? So how do we start this? The first thing that I don't want to do, okay, I'm sorry, the first thing that I do want to do is I always want to make sure that I pull the hands down off my neck, okay? So pull them down, and now look, my primary defensive hand is the opposite of his choking hand. So I'm going to take the thumb of that primary defensive hand and put it inside. So that even if this, this grip slips, he still can't get to my neck. So, many, so often you see that and boom, done. Pull them down, thumb inside. And now look, it just depends on which side you are. Are you gonna be on choking side or underhook side? If I'm on the choking side, two on one, pass the arm. The mistake everybody makes here is they turn up into the person. I don't wanna do that. I wanna push, suck my elbow in, and spin my head around. Right now, the back of my head is on the ground. I'm gonna spin, 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 so my forehead is on the ground, and then get up. <clears throat> Same start, but now we're on underhook side. I've gotta beat his head. On the other side, I beat the arm. Now I beat the head. So that now it's his choking arm, his head, my head. Hold tight, move, elbow in the space so that he can't come towards me. And now, step out. But notice, they both relied on my head, on the other side now, his arm. So it's my head, his arm, his head, not my head in between. Guys, you've been great, giving me great feedback. I really appreciate it. Keep it coming. I hope you find these useful. Um, I don't want to be wasting your time. So uh, give a like, subscribe to uh, uh, my email list and the podcast if you like all of it. Um, and uh, that's it. Professor, thanks. Let's go coach some MMA fighters. All right. Go out there, find your power, guys.